Welcome to the game of Risk, everyone. I am your host, Olive XC, a top player at this game. And today, we are doing a, another game of Classic Fix with the players as shown here with Alliances on, Blizzards on, Portal Stable. And immediately, <laughs> I uh, noticed that I have a lot of troops in Australia, but Blue, who's a bot, has some, and White is here as well. And I think White is going to want to get into Australia. They have a four right here. So my priority right now is I want to Oop, okay, I really wanted to leave Australia. Uh, now I cannot, I should have done a four. I'm gonna have to hit this two now. Um, actually, what I could do, oh my gosh, I now lost a one. Let's move this forward, then try to get out the next turn. Hopefully, white won't hit me for one turn, because I'm not trying to go in, but wow, that was bad, that first turn. And now I'm gonna have to hope that they don't go into me. But since I'm no longer in Africa, I no longer have a position there. So it makes complete sense that purple would wanna go into Africa. Oh, that is unfortunate. What a really, really bad first turn. So it looks like the theme of this game is going to be about me trying to survive in a bad first turn. I may have to do like a, a no continent game because of that really bad first turn. But white is also not in the game right now. Okay, so we have two players who are inactive bots. Well, one didn't ready up. Yeah, but the other one, yeah, so it looks like Australia is just a very expensive trap to be in right now because you have to take out like two sixes. It just isn't worth it to take the continent at all. <laughs> uh, but I may be forced into the continent against my will because it looks like the green player is going for Europe now. Although, this, <sighs> this is what I'm a little worried about right here. If green... Yeah, I have no idea what the other players are doing. They're being attacking very haphazardly, but I don't know what green wants to do. And again, I had a really bad first turn. So my priority right now is just get out of other players' ways, see what they want to do, and then react accordingly to it. All I know is it's, can I stop losing a one attacking every single time? This is the worst start ever uh, that, that <laughs> I've had in a lot of these games. But we're doing what we can to uh, try to survive. The luck will even out in the long term. We just have to do uh, what we can to make it to the long term. Since it's a four player game, like I as well, essentially, with just like, like two bots taking over territories, it's really kind of like um, up until we get into a late game scenario, a, a game without Australia, essentially. <laughs> it's kind of funny. And this is exactly why I play with inactive bots. Bots just make the game so annoying to deal with. Just having them be kind of like more like landmines to move over. Honestly, one of the best updates SMG has ever done. I, I just love playing the these settings. I used to, um, wasn't a big fan of the ladder, like, like in the past. But now, like, these games are always, like, so dynamic, like, whatever I decide to do. And it makes it fun. Like, I, I really enjoy it. Green, by the way, is doing an excellent job of moving all of their troops together into one portal spot. This is really good because they're going to be able to move around the map and have a lot of flexibility uh, when attacking. And notice how many troops they have, too. Like, uh, the only thing that's kind of, like, stuck in that now is this 2 and 4 down in North America. And really, no one is going to be taking that, right? There's uh, 11 troops of bot territory that people have to deal with right now. Yeah, you're going to have to use your 14. 
uh, black player. Like, yeah, you gotta stop hitting my twos, man. You have to hit something else. He skips his turn. Ah, uh, okay. Well, all we can do right now for ourselves is continue trying moving into Europe because it looks like nobody else is going there. And I'm finally getting some good luck when attacking. And I am clearly, clearly moving away from the Australia region. Holy cow, double wild card all the way. Heck yeah. And after Black's at atrocious first turn, like uh, they clearly are a weaker player. It, it looks like uh, if anyone's going to be limiting someone, it's going to be Black. Because again, it's going to take them multiple turns to taking out like a four, a three, a two. And it's clearly don't have like an understanding about what they should be attacking. And with the purple player leaving their troops right here on North Africa like this, I can see uh, the, the black player being very, very cautious. The last thing since there's no portals right now within South America, in order for the black player to get access, they're going to have to hit a five and then like another five. But that's just going to be such a huge loss. So even if the black player is going to be able to eventually trade in, they're just going to be in such a, a weak position. Ooh, an interesting green decides to hit the blue five. And they lost a lot of troops too. Wow, they were in such an incredible position for themselves. And, and now they just kind of squandered it. Like they're trying to save all their troops and group it together, but Look, you guys, um, after our atrocious start, because we just continue to be conservative and like rely on our opponent's mistakes, we are now uh, almost in like uh, the lead uh, in terms of troops. Like I definitely don't want to go for Australia right now. And I don't see any player having an ability to eliminate me at all. Nor why, why would they? Again, like I'm, I'm a pro, if someone's around 20 troops, it's just not worth it to take them out. So I think it just makes a, I think what I can do right here is I can actually save my two. I can attack right here in the portal, and then I will move my troops into Europe right here. And it looks like the white player is now MIA. This is now a four player game with a permanent seven on a couple of spots. The purple player trades in, but okay, they're attacking like a, a blue bot a lot. They're going to have to attack a white seven. Uh, they're going to be losing so, so many troops in order to get the Africa continent. And they're, and they're stopping right now. They realize that if they were to lose, they would just be done. And now the blue uh, um, inactive bot is down to only four locations. Eventually, I think the Central America is going to be taken. The black player at some point will be going through here. When that happens, uh, the blue player is going to be placing these couple spots down here in Asia and then always in Australia. This is a game without Australia right here, guys. Yeah, I lose my two, but this is fine. Oh, is the green player going to be going for... North America now for themselves? And it looks like the answer is yes. They're down to 30 troops, but they are successfully holding their continent with a fair amount of sacrifice. And they're leaving most of their troops instead of in the portal on Central America. That's going to be very hard for the black player to deal with. So I'm finally losing like my four, but there wasn't really anything that what? <laughs> oh. What just happened, you guys? Um, Wells, now that I have seen uh, <laughs> a fair amount right here, I'm thinking all that I want to do now is I'm just going to be eliminating the black player from this game. Don't think I need to be eliminating anybody else like at this time. It's not worth it for their cards. So we'll just take out black. Like, 
what the heck was that that they were doing right there? An 11 should be good. All right. <laughs> so now we get four cards right here. We're going to save our wild so that we can do another nice big trade in the following turn. Um, could we eliminate green for ourselves? If we left, we, didn't, we did nothing here, nothing here, and then the rest here, 14, no, we cannot do, we cannot eliminate green. So let's just focus on leaving the rest of our troops right here and grouping our troops away. Because green is still very, very weak. If they get one more card, I could then uh, trade in, take them out, and then have a huge card lead over the purple player, just ending the game right here and now. Like, holy cow, this game is so, so fast to hit, hit white. <laughs> Dude, he just broke the balance of the game. What are these players doing? Like, look, you guys. Uh, the, the purple player is only on 23 troops. And, it, and the two of those troops are trapped in Japan. It's really like they're on uh, 21. Is green going to even play? Or are they going to give up? Yeah, green's just crying. They know that I'm probably going to kill them. Yeah, they know that they're in trouble. Yeah, I, I think, yeah, we have like the... the the troops on our side that, that we need, we should be trading in right now, taking out the green player, and then just uh, going into the end game right here, you guys. I think uh, we got this. So let's do this. Let's go and eliminate green. We'll use the slider blitz right here to minimize our total troop loss. I think we have enough also to make sure that we're breaking the purple player. And I get another bad roll. And now we take out green. And now look guys, we are heading into the end game right here against another player. We're doubling their troops. And two of their troops are completely, completely stuck right here. We don't have a trade in, but we're one card up. Have all the territory in the world and a big stack to hit them back for anything that they decide to do. Absolutely incredible right here. All because a black player just went all in on North America. Such a fast, fast game. Yeah, and they just slammed me right here, but they just lost more troops. They should be prioritizing breaking my continents right now instead. Yeah, now they can break North America, but they can't even do that. And now the bot is going to be my friend. So I don't even need to take out the purple player yet. All I need to do is just uh, take them out all over the map right here. And then next turn, I'm going to own all of these continents. And that's going to be game. Even if they have a set on three, they're gonna to have to spend seven of it just hitting this blue bot. And I have a 10 set. Absolutely wonderful, wonderful game right here for myself. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this game right here. A nice little quick one for you. If you are enjoying this content, please consider subscribing. Yep, and that's that, and that's a wrap. I'll just uh, defeat the boss quickly and bring up the end screen. And this is Olive XC signing off.